Hello okay, everybody. Hello everybody. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to do the third ending. So let's get into it. To start with, you're going to want to get some auction capsules. If you're just like, like what I do, do. Or do how much auction you have. So for example, I have a tier 4 auction tank right now. So yeah. Then what you want to do, I'm going to go to the map quickly to show where we need to head. I'm going to head all the way to the bottom left. Okay. Let's meet your crayer. That's what we're gonna just head there to start with. I'll get more specific when I get that. Once you get to meet your crayer, we're gonna head around the cliff side here. Head up there where you see trees. You'll see a wall falling back, and in the centre there'll be a well probably single field water. What we're gonna do is head down there, obviously careful with the fall. And this is why you bought auction canisters, is because well you need to do a bit of diving. And you, have, you can swim away all the way through, but just in case you want to stop the loot and that, it might be good to have some auction capsules. It will. Either way, that way, but the way we need to head is down this way. And we'll reach another hole. And you go down this hole. And there'll be two rays, two rays off top. Yeah, short way, there's not just chest that way, but we want to head this way. So the one with the little cave in the middle of the wall, not on the edge. Once you go through here, you'll find one of the abandoned bases. So now it's been here. There's loot in there. Curious. Go up. You need to deconstruct the doors and there's three lockers plus a message. But what we're looking for is actually further back this way. So yeah, a bit of a swim. The bolting half, so of size. There's a message from the warden right here. But I actually need to go further back still. So if you have that tier 3 auction, uh, I forget how much it is, but like, yeah, it might be hard. Uh, it's auction once you get up here though. But just in case you don't have the best auction tank. Oh yeah, looking around, just in case I have one. Once you get up here, oh, you just go up the stairs with it. <laughs> a long walk these places. You find a little wound area. Jump there. And if you get to this platform here, there'll be a message here. Actually, the wardens, some of the wardens actually want to live. In this chest, you'll find a microchip. Obviously, I've already taken it and used it. Be a golden microchip. You'll scan that at the at the blueprint screen, and you'll unlock the wandy key detector. Once you get back to your base, obviously scan the microchip. Once you've done that, go to the advanced car station. Make sure you get two solar courts, one circuit board. One Medenta course and one Blazer course. Give me the Warden's key detector. Also, make sure to equip it. One thing to point out before I start doing this is you only need 10 keys. There are more than 10 on the map. Just found out when doing this. I mostly done the ones around the outer parts of the map, so there might be a few more in the center. I'm not sure. But if you want to have know where they are exactly, well, literally, I'm just going to be going around a circle around the entire map. Yeah, let's get into it. First one is at 2,376 at by 1,010. And on the map. I remember zoom back in. Yeah. Oh, you can actually see the little dot of it by the looks of it. <laughs> okay, next one on our route is at 1330. Next one on our route is at 1,313 by 1,505. The map, we are just right in front of the crash ship in the desert. You can see, in front of it. Number three is at 1,538 by 2,220. The map, pretty much under the titanium symbol. The northwest, up northwest, left of the map. 
and before was at 711 and 1711 on the map by the sand waterfall area right here yeah, number four number six is literally in the center of the meteor crater so 9382 at 1,496 so yeah, just right here left of the map number 6, got a very bomb left of the map or island got negative 1,326 by 1,325 and it's this island here just south of the cobalt symbol number 7 is at negative 1,436 by 560 map below the original waterfall area and near the crash ship so yeah oh yeah number eight is that negative one number eight is at negative 925 by negative 624 in the volcanic area right here on the map So nearby the crash ship in front of it. Number nine is at one thousand four hundred thirty by negative seven hundred and fifty-eight. Map by this pool and spaceship or red red sand sort of area in the top right. Little whole island in the middle. Number ten is at eighteen hundred ninety-one and two hundred sixty-seven. Map little canyon area on top on the stacks. And it's this stack. Oh yeah. At 1585 by 563. There might be more than these, but these are ones I'm aware of. But I think the basis thing I can work out is that there's only one per biome a maximum. I don't believe there can be any more than one in one biome. But I don't know if there's one in every biome or not though. But uh, you only need 10 of these, so. What do you think to worry about? As long as you get 10, it's fine. You need to head over to your extraction platform. And obviously place your warden keys in the container. And you'll be able to see the third option. And um, yeah, I'm not going to do that one. Because that's my favorite ending. <laughs> and uh, I'll leave a surprise for you to find out. That's everything for today. I will just do the third ending. I think for today. That's really. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Until next time, I will see ya. Anyone's curious, I will be doing one for the second ending, but the branch currently has a slight change for the cost. So currently need five hundred thousand ter tokens. It's getting changed, so I'm gonna wait till that update actually comes out in case it's changed again. That's so it's accurate. Until then, I'll see you. Goodbye.